Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of AZ's Analysis. Today we live in the world of media. With media comes fake news, and today I'll give you a couple tips and tricks to spot fake news. If you've watched my show previously, do you know that I cover societal issues and things of that nature? Moving forward, I kind of want to shift the focus of my show and focus on more general topics and just popular culture and things that are taking place in our world today. That leads me right into my topic of today. You might ask, what is fake news? Fake news is a form of news that consists of deliberate misinformation. With the election in sight, you need to have that eye to spot fake news or you'll be misled by propaganda. There was a massive study conducted by MIT that studied over 126,000 stories, 3 million users over a 10 year span on Twitter. The results of this study goes even further to prove that false news and fake rumors penetrate deeper in our society. This prompts us to ask, how can we redesign our news ecosystem? In all honesty, even if we had algorithms that could detect or even, you know, fact check news sources, there would still be potentially fake news from public or private users. Harvard University gives us guidelines to spot fake news. Tip number one, if you notice blatant punctuation or spelling errors or excessive or dramatic punctuation, then nine times out of 10, it's fake news. Tip number two, if you can't cross examine or see information from the article somewhere else or from a different source, then it may also be fake news. Tip number three, if you get too lazy to cross-examine or you know find the information for yourself, there are also websites that do this for you, including factchecker.org and many more. I'll have them listed in the description below. Tip number four, researching the author. A lot of times by researching the author, we can tell if a story is valid or not or biased just by the author's credentials. For the last and final tip, tip number five, be vigilant when you look at the domain name and Check if the article meets educational citation standards. Never forget guys, don't share information on social media if you're not 100% sure about it. As always, thank you for tuning in to AZ's Analysis. Peace.